Nanny dies back in the chair. Back in the house. So this isn't a movie trailer we're about to watch. This oh. is, on November the 1st, Apple TV oh. enters the streaming race. Do you know what streaming means? Not really. Okay, Netflix is a streaming channel, i.e. they stream content which you can then bring into your lounge. Isn't that just what a normal TV is? It's kind of like a channel, but the point about streaming is you decide what you watch rather than a channel broadcasting stuff at set times. So Netflix is very famously the biggest streamer on the planet. Amazon, Amazon? Amazon Prime is another. Yes. Disney Plus is coming in the November in America and in the new year to here. But Apple, which makes stuff, makes products, Apple is about to enter the streaming market. Whoa. So in a weird way, what this means in old person terms yes. is that where we used to always think of things like network, you know, NBC in America competing with CBS and ABC mm -hmm. in the UK, it's mm -hmm. BBC versus... Got it. For the younger generations, it's going to be... And YouTube is a streaming service too. You've got YouTube, you've got Netflix, you've got all these kind of... It's a multitude of choices and you could argue there's so much choice and no content, but I actually think there's the more quality content. is going up. Okay. Okay. Personally, yep. quality is going up with the streamers, but it's not going up with the broadcast channels. No, well, Do you agree? Not, not going up with the broadcast no, channels. No, I think, I think conventional television, and there was a piece in the papers this week saying BBC is going to become extinct if they don't do something to capture their younger viewers. And I hate to say it, guys, oh, I yeah, think I've the job that. is done. Anyway. That's how much you like that little guy, Don, what's his name? He goes, caught on camera. He sounds like this. Oh, right. Caught on camera. Oh, yeah, the daytime guy. And I love caught on camera. I oh, can't don't get Don, get Dom. Caught on cam get Dom. And don't. he stands like this, and he stands like that. With no he hair. He's caught on camera. I know. Yeah. I come in from the, I come rushing in from the kitchen thinking, it's time for me to leave. It amazes me how he keeps going. He's like a garden gnome. He is like a garden gnome. Anyway, that's a curious daytime. Caught on camera. Caught on camera. Talking of BBC daytime and daytime content, actually, mm. they've got a new series called Dickinson. Oh, no. No, but who is Dickinson? David Dickinson. Oh, no, not Dickinson, Dickinson, Orange Dickinson. Orange Dickinson. So for anyone in America who doesn't know what the hell we're talking about, Dickinson, David Dickinson, is the presenter, or used to be man. the presenter, of Bargain Hunt. Yes. He's an antiques expert, and he's remarkably brown. Well, so orange. brown, orange. Same colour same colour same as color. Trump. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He might be Same Trump's height brother. as Trump. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Same everything. Okay, well, this is a new series from Apple called Dickinson. Do you think it might be based on the antiques dealer? No, I think it might be based on Dickinson. Which no, suddenly... no, it's not based on Dickinson. What oh. other famous Dickinson can you think of? Dickinson. Uh, oh, I always feel like I'm in an exam then. I you don't are. know. Emily Dickinson. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> You're kidding me. I'm not. Can you believe it? Give me the it? white dress. Give me the being locked up in a well, cupboard. Well, let's check out this trailer for a new series landing on Apple Plus TV that you're going to want to watch because it's all about Emily Dickinson. Oh. Check me out. I'm a man. <laughs> I do what I want. I go where I want. I have the right to vote. I can legally own property. What are they so afraid of? Maybe they're scared that if they teach us how the world works, we'll figure out how to take over. Mm. Mm. Like the smoke oh my god, she's so insane. Of course she's insane. She's Emily Dickinson. You're gonna make a good housewife one day, Emily. Oh yeah, I'm a real catch. You need to cut out these sort of antics. Are you getting married? I have one purpose. And that is to become a great writer. Because I could not stop for death. Death stop. He kindly stopped for me. Nice to see you. <laughs> Emily, I realized without you, I might as well not exist. You really are my favorite person in the world. Wait it when I'm gone. You mean when you're dead? Dude, no, I mean like when I'm in the other room. Oh, we <laughs> do not approve of a woman it's seeking to build it's herself it's a literary reputation, Emily. I am a poet. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. Something to say about that. What have you 
Tell me. I'm going to tell, tell them. you. Now, in theory, that is everything that I like. It's Emily yes, Dickinson. Yes, absolutely. It's blah, blah, blah. It's blah, 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 blah. Yeah, quote the poem that they quote. Because I could not step, stop for death. Death kindly stopped for me. Oh, God, don't. Um, but I'm going against the grain here and just watching what we've just watched. I think what's happening in the world at the moment is awful. And that's an example of it. What's happening with that is that they want people, and I said it actually, interestingly, unsolicited, Kiki will love that, and mm, she will. What mm. they're trying to do is get people like Kiki. Yes. Of that age, you know, here's this woman who mm. had no truck with men and blah, mm. blah, blah, and was a bit eccentric. She wasn't just a bit eccentric. She was completely barking mad in mm. a good way. Mm. And then make her fit into the world somehow in a way that kids today can understand dress them all up nicely, put in a few ball scenes, quote some of the poems, the more understandable ones, because she's very difficult to understand. I'm not saying that's a good thing. She just is. Yeah. Um, and then you've got your series. And I think it, it under, it, what's the word? When something, it doesn't do her justice. It does not do her justice one bit. And it makes me mad. That's my line on that. Well, the reason I didn't say anything was I entirely agree. And I think you articulated it beautifully. Really? I mean, yeah, yeah, entirely. Oh. I mean, I, th I, 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 you know, what better prospect than a series mm. about Emily Dickinson, who is a cracking poet, yeah. led a remarkably interesting life. and sort of reclusive and odd life, yeah. um, is a jagged sort of cultural icon, if you like, yeah. with jagged edges and, com you know, com complexities to her. And then they've gone and packaged it like Riverdale. Yeah, fault in our stars almost. Yeah, I mean, fault in our stars, got, yeah. She's probably got no leg and dying of cancer. And the bloke's <laughs> going to arrive. And I mean, her life it was, I know. was due more than that. Well, yeah, I do wonder. I mean, it's like there's the new film, which everyone's very excited about, actually, by Greta Gerwig. Which, and the trailers I've seen of Little Women. And the trailers I've oh, seen yeah. of that suggest that she's kind of made the dialogue more contemporary and what have you. I, it didn't jar with me so much. I, in that, I did feel we were getting such a sort of sugar-coated... Apple social media version of Emily Dickinson. Absolutely. Yeah, I know what you mean. And it's yeah. interesting that the first person that comes into my mind is Kooks because, you know... Well, Kiki would find that patronising, I think, well, even to her. You know, and I think would, you're right, yeah. I think it yeah. is aimed at Kiki's age, yeah. but I think Kiki's age would probably find that a bit, oh, God, what's the point? Yeah. You know. But also even right down to, you know, and I mean, this, uh, this might sound condescending or something, but, OK, that poem showing death in the mm. carriage and whatever, that's one of her... You know, you, one gets that poem because yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. obvious. It's about but, death. but even showing death. Yeah, I don't it's know. A bit literal. I mean, it's just it's so literal. They're going to take so... the magic and the complexity out of a poetry and turn it into something that's really sort of Instagrammable. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There was actually a, a quite a good film about Emily Dickinson yeah, that came out. And look, I think it was called Emily. No, it wasn't. Dickinson? No. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't called either of those things. Well, I, I tell you what, though, it was, it was a huge relief to know it wasn't about David Dickinson, the presenter, ex-presenter oh, of Bargain Oh, you idiot. You That was idiot. a huge relief. Oh, I'm... Yeah, I'm... you could watch the first episode? Of what? That. Now? No, when it comes out. Should we? Well, Would you? I might. Will but, you? But, yeah, just to see which poems they quote. Oh, right, okay. how they fit uh, them in. Uh, 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 uh. I couldn't see to see. Or a fly got between me and death and they showed a fly. Yeah, yeah that would be it. That would be good. <laughs>